What's going on, Sauce Familia, SOSS, Supporter Stay Silent, 100 Plus ENT on Instagram and YouTube. What we got here is the four cylinder, 2.2 liter Eco Saturn View 2005, through like a 09. And hold on, there was a quick pause. I gotta figure out how to switch this camera off. Right I don't know how to see. Oh, let's see. See, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to switch it. But uh, you pop the hood. And I'm gonna lay y'all right here. My bad. That's why I need to get that other camera. Huh? Why he put the gap on there? He said it wasn't gap. Huh? No, he said just so the mechanics are known. Uh, oh, where's gap at? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And that's why I say I hadn't pulled in the shade when I came back. Yeah, that was real smart thing. <laughs> All right. Because, man. <laughs> All right. Just so I can show y'all. <laughs> yeah, they about to hold on real quick. Hold on real quick. Let me get this up. Fix it up. That ain't good. Alright. You already know. If you've seen the other videos, first thing we're gonna do. It's an eight millimeter. I don't feel like walking back over there. And we gonna go ahead, get on it. We go at it again. Turn it to the right, cause it's the opposite way. Check out that auto shop that's up there. Yeah, we 
got to be kind of kind of delicate on the inside of it. Now, we're going to do our other objective. We only need these. We need a 10 millimeter. We need your supplies, flathead. Then your spark plug uh, adapter to get it out. Man, you should know what you've seen in other videos. Right. Uh. I don't know. I can't get this right. I'm gonna have to watch my face being a little thick now. this thing. Go ahead and put y'all back up here. And y'all can see me. So what we're gonna use first is we already used our wrench. Let's take the battery cable off this first. Then we're gonna take the pliers. And we're gonna go right here. And go right there. To loosen out this clamp. And we're gonna put the pliers back up there. And we're gonna get our holes off. See the clamp right there. And there. Then we're going to take our thumb, try to press down on the tab, take that off. And then now we're going to take our flathead screwdriver. Check our flathead right here. We're going to go right on down up under there to the little silver corner right here. Show you guys. Okay, right down to the silver corner. And we're gonna turn that clockwise to loosen it. To loosen this air intake. Put that up, and then we're gonna just grab from here and pry up. Now that's now that that's situated, you're gonna move it off to the side, just like that there. And we've got four bolts that we've got our 10 millimeter for, like I said earlier. And make sure we we can loosen them up here. But just loosen these up first. Loosen them up first. And this whole bar here holds in the four ignition coils. We're gonna take, I'm gonna take that out. Why? Because all we need to do here now is go ahead and loosen these up. Loosen this one out. Twist this on up. Same thing for this right here. Same thing for this right here. Same thing right there. 
keep doing it so you can see that. okay but okay all uh, four are loose I'm gonna put it back up there keep them in keep the tools in the spot that is organized nope you got this one in the back here and this one up here so we want it super loose And we got this one here. We're gonna try to pry it out or nothing. Just make sure that you got them all loose. Because once you got them all loose, it comes out naturally easy. And remember the way that it goes in. So we're gonna put it like that. That's how we got it. Okay, now. Now. Facts. Now, we're about to take our socket wrench right here, and we're gonna take a little ratchet. Take a little ratchet. It's a little bit better right there. My bad, y'all. Yeah. Take a little ratchet. And take the ratchet. And then take the whole thing. Dip it down here with the spark plugs. Get them loose to be able to, you know, turn them out. You know, see, see how that one's pretty. the first one the first one there as you can tell it's burnt out we'll give y'all a different okay. <laughs> yeah. we'll give y'all a real nice good comparison Okay. 
bag and a half. So I'll look over here. This way I got like a damn camera. Screw my language. But this is the third one that we get. Nice, simple. Burnt up. And these came from a car that was in a junkyard already, so that ain't really needed. You know, when the car starts sputtering like crazy, it's because fuel's getting to the spark plugs, but the spark plugs is burnt out to where they only working here and there because the car on. Car running, so it's going to start. It's going to start popping over here. Then, now, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all these four real quick. All four of these. Now, whoa. You can tell the difference. Dark, light, dark, light. Henny, Don Julio, dark, light, yeah. We're gonna take a light, which is the new one. Pop it right. Take the other one, second. Pop it right. Third, pop it right in. Yeah. Fourth one, pop it right in. Now, we're gonna tighten it. Yeah. And we're just gonna tighten them on up. Don't don't use the ratchet or nothing to tighten it up because you might mess up the gap. Just tighten it as best as possible with your hand and try to force it or nothing. But once when you feel like it's tight and it's tight, then it's tight. Don't try to let me make sure it's super tight on there. Nah, don't do that. Not with spark plugs or anything else. For real, for real. Because you're going to mess these up. You'll definitely do that. So. Let's go ahead. Get it tight to fit. Perfect. Like something's on my nose. Okay. Make sure it's all tight to fit. Tight to fit. Use your hand. Cool. And now this is the first slash last one. One we did first. And this the one we do one last. <laughs> All right. So now we're done with that. Now next. My bad. 
shit out of my nose. Now, take our ignition coils, plug them babies right back in. Now, to get it to sit down, you gotta tighten it down. Tight the fit again. And try to overdo it or nothing. And this one is like, all right, this is as tight as it gets once when you feel it. Like the first time you feel it. Not no forcing it three, four times and then saying, all right, it's cool. Nah, don't do that. Because people I know messed it up like that. Messing up boats. Okay. Tighten them all down, like give them equal time. So when you start to get this one down, don't try to tighten one bolt all the way down at a time. Tighten, you know, equal it out. When that one starts to get low, switch to the other one that's high and get that to the same height as that one. Yeah. Once we got that one to the same height as that one. Go to the next one that's high. Take that down. Make sure you got that to the same height as that one. Go to the next one that's high. You're gonna feel it. Some of them gonna, when you go to the next one, it's gonna feel looser than the one you just was tightening. And that's how you that's how you keep switching. You go to one that's looser than the one that you just tighten. down there and then let's go ahead get them down with the wrench real quick I'm gonna try to force it okay just check them Good. Okay. Then let's take our little wire harness right here and clip it back on in here. And then we're doing everything in reverse. Let's pick this one up drop this on down right here. Let's get this hooked back on to your to the throttle body. And make sure that that's on there soon. On there, right? Go back to here, tighten them up. Uh oh, y'all yeah, gotta be, you gotta be on it. That's a mechanic error right there. Only mechanic errors you should have is when you drop a part inside of the car. I mean, drop a piece, not a part, but when you drop a tool inside the car, that's the only mechanic error you should have. Not nothing else. If I drop one of my tools in there, not no dropping that screw to the car or nothing. Only if I drop my wrench, that's the only air you should ever have. Other than that, make sure to fix it. So, let me go back on that there. Sit on my nose. All right. And then now, put our wire on his back on here. Okay. So you're done with the flathead. You're done with this one. You're done with 
this one. I'm done with this one. And now you get back onto this one. And this is for the battery. Huh? No, this is for the battery. So, do a quick double check. Everything's good. My arm's back together. Now let's take our battery negative cable and now let's turn this the opposite way going counterclockwise all the way until I feel like it's good feel like it's good and let's make sure it's great by you know chain it all the way chain it all the way okay now Got done with all these. Um, drop these down there. So we ain't worried about nothing there. You know? You know? And now this is just. This got to insert into something. But. Probably missing the, the, the container for that to, to do it. Um, but that there is the tune-up, though, yeah. That's how you do it. Yeah, yeah. Like, share, follow, subscribe. Some more people on there. We only have 40 people right now, which have just started back. Uh, we got to bump that, bump that back up. We got to get them subscribers back up there, yo. Yo, yo. All right. She good now. She done now. Oh, damn. <laughs> now, I was just talking. For... <laughs> nah, I was just sitting over here talking. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, cause that's all that was burnt out. So it wasn't even you it see was how even as yeah. That's cause it was mass fuel getting over there and it yeah, wasn't really getting burnt out like so it's supposed to. Yeah. Oh, he just put old spark plugs in the car. Yeah, yeah, them them definitely was old old them was old burnt burnt. That was over with. Yeah. That was over with. That was over with. Your check engine light still ain't on or nothing. I ain't got no lights on. The only light that come on is my battery light. And that's battery it. light. And I know I need to get battery. My battery from 2017. That's what it say on there, I think. I mean, because you can see, like, right now... Nah, you don't, but when that when it started looking a little pregnant, then yeah. Oh, the oh okay. yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Once we're <laughs> I ain't yeah. see, I ain't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once we're gonna get like that, it's yeah, hold on. I gotta take my glove off. Mm. Yeah, that's what mm. It's just this little thing too though. Yeah, I don't like <laughs> Hey man, did they take your car down to the junkyard at the same time getting the stuff from there? Or did we they? We took them and they went in. It was him and his crackhead ass girlfriend. And then they, they, after they left out of the junkyard real quick to get back in the car, they did it there? No, they did it at my house, my parking lot. 
So why the I hell? I think they stole some people. I think they said they were crackheads, so I think they were stealing pieces and stuff like that. Um, yeah, they stole. That, that's that's stolen. This ain't Delphi. Let me know, y'all, if this go to a Saturday or not. Or if you know somebody want to buy this, she got this here. But, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I got to shut you down. What you want to go get some ice cream? Don't. It's about to definitely move better. better it's than running before. a whole lot better. Yeah. Oh, damn, where the hell? Okay. Damn, yeah, that's not your phone. There you go. There you go. Okay, I gotta turn my phone up again. It really only take like 10 minutes to do that. Because I was talking. No, you too. You got it. Uh, but yeah, that's it though, y'all. I'm about to get back with y'all here in a bit. Uh, but y'all know, get on it.